Whenever I want to take a decision, I'll be asking if I say that something is here, something is there, I'll be present but not present. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? We've just boarded flight ride with Kate Johnson and I, Kate Chibihi Johnson, I am going to be your captain for today's ride. And I've got one question for you. Are you ready to ride with me? If you're ready, then come along. Give us. We need to take it. Give us. Give us. On today's ride, we're going to be talking about an adulting skill that is highly essential and that is highly needed, and it is trusting your judgment. I used to be on the table of those that don't trust their judgments. Like, whenever I want to take a decision, I'll be asking, What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Because I was always scared of making mistakes. I actually learned from someone, um, he would always tell me that I should learn to take decisions and stand by it. By adventure, I make mistakes that I should also be willing to take responsibility for my actions because that's what makes me an adult. I realize that this is actually an adulting skill that everyone needs. From your childhood to your teenage years, it's probably your parents making decisions for you or your guardians or people around you making decisions for you. But by the time you get into your 20s, you definitely have to learn how to start making decisions on your own and you have to learn how to trust yourself so some persons could call it god some people call it instinct some persons call it intuition some persons call it the spirit of god some persons call it their mind some persons call it their head some persons call it their spirit so whatever you call it learn how to listen to that inner man that thing that tells you do this or do that the truth of the matter is that there are times you might even do it and it will come out wrong also learn how to love yourself also learn how to accept yourself to the point that even when it comes out wrong you will be totally fine with it so there's been a lot of instances where i i knew that something was off about something or someone but i was still feeling like am i sure am i really sure i was still second guessing myself and at the end of the day i ended up shortchanging myself if there's one thing i've learned about myself it is that hmm, whenever that inner man that inner voice tells me that something is wrong here something is wrong if over time i've come to consider myself a good judge of character like when i see somebody there's usually something in me that tells me things about the person i don't know how it happens i think i'll say it's the holy spirit i know that every christian that has the holy spirit um has the has access to the spirit of discernment but i think my own is really sharp like i always discern i could just meet somebody now and i'll just feel like i know a lot about them they don't need to say anything like sometimes they don't even need to say anything they don't need to talk to me i just seeing the person and interacting the person i'll just notice about the person <laughs> i can tell what the person can or cannot do i used to take that gift for granted so most times i would ignore what i saw or what i heard about somebody or about something and at the end of the day i'll find out that i made a mistake for ignoring it so i had to get to that point where i had to start telling myself girl you have to learn how to trust yourself and that is a journey that i'm on now but one reason why you should trust your intuition is that it usually helps you tap into your inner wisdom like that inner knowledge that inner strength that you have sometimes we sense things in our spirit but we fail to trust ourselves, we fail to trust our instinct. Like, there are a lot of things, a thousand and one things that I trusted my instinct for and I ended up not regretting. And there are things I didn't trust my instinct for and I ended up regretting. So, this is me trying to tell you that you should learn to trust your instincts, you should learn to trust your God, you should learn to trust your inner man, and most especially, you should learn to trust the leading of the Holy Spirit. It is an adulting skill I have decided to cultivate. Nevertheless, being that this is something you have to trust, you also have to build it so that it doesn't give you misinformation. So I'm going to share a few tips on how to develop and trust your judgment more or your instinct or your inner man or your inner reason. The first one is listening. You have to get to that point where you know yourself. Like that self-awareness is very important. So when you are self-aware, you know your life, you know what happens, you know how you feel when something is about to happen. You know how you feel when something is not about to happen. I remember my tummy paining me one day. Someone was like, is it the monthly visitor? I was like, no. The person was like, how do you know it's not the monthly visitor? I, is it because you've seen it? I said, no, I'm expecting it, but I know it's not the monthly visitor. Because I know how the ache of the monthly visitor happens. And I know how the ache of normal stomach upset happens. So the way I can differentiate between monthly visitor, 
that's menstrual cramps and normal stomach cramps you have to you have to be that self-aware too i have to be that self-aware too to know when something is wrong and when something is not wrong instinct is not just for you to it's not for, just for you to dictate what is wrong it is also for you to dictate what is right you can pursue friendships establish relationships through trusting your instincts through trusting your judgment so it's not just a thing of maybe when it's negative no it can also be positive how can you do that you have to be self-aware and you have to learn to listen to yourself when you are being told stop you stop when you're being told start you start when you're told continue you continue so listening to yourself is very important another tip i would share now is quiet time slash meditation so for me i trust i tend to trust my judgments more if i leave the house having fully and deeply fellowship with god whenever i i am i know that oh my quiet i had a quality quiet time he has a way of giving me this confidence that nah i can't make a wrong decision I have communed fully with the holy spirit so my error margin is zero when you study god's words meditate worship he has a way of helping you assess that inner man like the holy spirit the help of the holy spirit and when something is happening you your antenna is sharp enough to dictate it and to know whether it is right or whether it is wrong whether you should do or whether you should not do whether you should abstain or whether you should not abstain and that's if that could help you develop and trust your judgments more is reflect on past decisions think of past decisions and it was on this ground that i decided to start trusting my instincts the more i realized that over the over years over time if i say that something is here something is there go up and down something is there and the times that i i felt i i had i made an i made a mistake or anything there was always something that told me this thing is not right so that now gives me this level of self-confidence that oh more this thing nobody today we start to discern <laughs> and like being able to have a track record of zero or little error margin when taking decisions it has a way of helping you build your instincts and trust your de decisions so learn to re reflect on your past decisions then the last but not the least is practice mindfulness this particular tip for me is what made me lose out a lot in at the initial times i'll be present but not present like i'll just be there but my mind is not there over time now i've learned to be active like when i'm somewhere i want to know what is happening in my environment mine is so bad that i could literally sit close to somebody for like two hours and the person will leave and i won't take notice of their face it was that bad so i decided to become more mindful so when i became more mindful i realized that i have become more conscious of my environment around people in my environment so i can i can know that okay this happens this happens this happens that means this is likely to happen so it, it has really really helped me to um, get to trust my instinct so you have to get to the point of trusting your judgment trusting your instinct and doing what it tells you to do when there's a break in transmission between you and the holy spirit it's because of you because god never fails he was always consistent and faithful so if there's for any reason where maybe there's a time you slacked and your work with god is not exactly at the strongest point and somehow you get to make mistakes so learn to embrace it and know oh this is the mistake i made that was why i missed this thing accept responsibility for your actions that is why you are an adult learning to trust your instincts your guts your judgments the leading of the holy spirit is really really a life hack is really really a an adulting skill that you need this issue of trusting is like a more so the more you use it the stronger it becomes so start listening to it and you watch yourself become more confident in taking major life decisions don't forget i'm your captain kate chibuhi johnson thank you for riding with me and until next time don't forget to let your light so shine. Bye. Do you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share to this video? Okay, bye.